Information, we are learning the names of the other two girls involved in that ATV crash last weekend that killed a Citronelle High School student. The Mobile County Sheriff's Office says three girls were involved in an ATV crash on Shepherd House Road. Eleanor Bird was injured and taken to the hospital, while Alexis Lofton was not injured. Tonight, the Citronelle community is mourning the loss of freshman Anna Weaver, who was killed in that accident. NBC 15's Megan Gannon was at Centronelle High School this morning as students and staff remember the 14-year-old. We love Anna. Uh, we're going to miss her. Citronelle High School remembering freshman Anna Weaver, whose life was cut short last week. She sang on our praise team, and she um, you know, was a cheerleader and a softball player here at the high school, and she always just lit up the room every time she, she walked in. Always had a smile on her face. She was a great, great inspiration to a lot of kids, uh, both on and off the campus. It's very easy to see how beloved Anna was here at Citronelle as hundreds gathered at the flagpole before school, singing some of her favorite songs. Then releasing balloons in her memory. It is well with my soul. Three, two, one. We love you, Anna. Obviously, from this crowd this morning, uh, you can see how many lives she impacted. And everybody here today has been touched by Anna Weaver, and uh, including me. While this loss is hard to comprehend, people are finding comfort in knowing Anna is in a better place. She's with Jesus. We know she's in a better place. and we'll be fine and uh, you know it's just going to be a big big loss for us and 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 it's going to take some time to heal reporting in mobile megan gannon nbc 15 news a wake for anna will be held tomorrow evening from six until nine at restoration church in citronelle that's where her funeral will be held wednesday morning at 11 o'clock